Hi everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshree here. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Aquarius Moon Sign and Aquarius Ascendants and how 2022 is going to be for you. In the beginning of the year, that's in January, Jupiter is placed in your sign, in your first house. Saturn is placed in your 12th house. Rahu is placed in your 4th house and Ketu is in the 10th house. So when Rahu and Ketu are placed in 410 axis, it is actually a, a karmic cycle of Rahu and Ketu that is playing out for you, uh, that has been playing out for you for last one year and it will be there till April. In April, all these planets, that's Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu and Ketu, these are going to change their signs and things are going to change for you as well. So without further delay, let's find out how 2022 is going to unfold for you. Jupiter is placed in your sign in the beginning of the year. And till April, Jupiter may not give great results for Aquarius moon signs. But once he comes to your second house in his own sign of Pisces in April, a financially rewarding phase begins for you. Professional elevation will be there. April onwards, there will be good time for buying property too. If you are planning to pay off some of your loans and debts, utilize this phase for that. Home life looks happy and harmonious. Your married life will be happy one too in 2022. If you are married, there will be chances of getting a baby where it's applicable. Socially, you will enjoy a good phase. Friends and acquaintances will be helpful as well. Overall, Jupiter promises a very good phase for you after April. The mental anxiety or negativity that you have been going through till April and uh, from last year will now go and you will feel quite energized. Aquarius ascendants will enjoy good results of Jupiter throughout the year. Be careful of some health issues though. If you have been suffering from any previous health issues, you are going to recover well. Saturn will be placed in your 12th house for most of the year. Between end of April and middle of July, Saturn will come to your sign, creating peak of Sarisati for Aquarius moon signs. Note that it's only for moon signs. During this time, you need to be a bit careful about your own health and mental stress as well. Your spouse's health can also cause some worry. One thing to note here though, and that is the fact that Saturn is a very slow moving planet and it gives results very slowly as well. Therefore, it is unlikely that you will get to experience the full Sarisati effect in these two and a half months only. In general, expect that in 2022, you are going to experience the similar results that you did in 2021 from Saturn. This year will be very good for spirituality for you as well. There will be chances of going abroad too. Take care of your health. There may be issues uh, with the knees and the feet. For some of you, Possibility of hospitalization cannot be ruled out. Expenses will be there and some of the expenses will happen to help underprivileged people as well. Try to reduce unnecessary expenses. Some lasting change in your profession may be there. It is also possible that you wish to change the path of your career as well. Let's now find out how Rahu is going to impact you in 2022. Rahu till April can make you relocate, can give mental anxiety and also health issues. 
Rahu will move to a very favorable third house in April. It is a very positive placement and it is more so because Rahu's transit in the third house comes after the results of heavy karmic cleansing of fourth house placement along with Ketu being in the tenth. Therefore, the year 2022 after April gives you an opportunity to etch new deeds on a clean slate. Utilize this phase positively. This begins a very positive and financially fruitful time for you. If you are employed, you can expect increment and progress in career. If you are in business or self-employed, you will register good profit in 2022. You will also see that the work that was stuck so long, for whatever reason, will now start moving and you will be able to complete these projects successfully. In 2021, no matter how much effort you gave, work was still getting obstructed. Now with this shift in Rahu's energy, more effort you put in, more progress you make. Rahu will also help you to overcome the negative effects of health. If you have been facing any trouble related to your spouse or children's health, you can expect recovery there. Ketu till April can create professional dissatisfaction or lack of opportunities for you. Once Ketu moves to your 9th house in April, it creates a phase where spirituality will be on the rise. There can be foreign travel or long distance travel mainly because of spiritual reasons. Some of you may be inclined to invest quite recklessly in speculative schemes like shares and stocks and there, is, there are so many other things that's coming up these days. But it would be better if you can stay away from it for some time now. Take all financial decisions carefully, stick to the ethical path and do not bend any rules. Let us now take a stock of what is in store for you in a nutshell. If we consider Saturn, he will be placed in your 12th house as he had been in 2021 and the results will also be more or less similar to that of 2021. But this year Jupiter and Rahu are blessing you with full grace, promising wealth, prosperity, name and fame. Overall, 2022 will be a very fruitful year for you in terms of profession, finances and domestic harmony. A couple of things that needs attention and these are your health and expenditure. Jupiter and Rahu are promising abundance in one hand, Saturn or Ketu on the other are quite happy to drain out some of it. So take care of your finances. At the end of this video, I have added the slides with transit dates of four major planets. That's Jupiter, Saturn, Rahu and Ketu. You can save those for your future reference. At the end, I wish you all a very happy, healthy and prosperous 2022. Please do like this video and share with your friends who have Aquarius moon signs and Aquarius ascendants. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what to expect in 2022 as per your personal chart, you can reach me at mohanaastrology at gmail.com. You can also visit my website www.mohanaastrology.com to know about consultations. May God bless us all. Thank you so much.